Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to go ahead and start this video off with a very short story. As you can see, this was the week when I first got it. All voluptuous, full, you know, she's giving life. This is the video where I installed it. Beautiful, beautiful wig. But, you know, I gave it a few months and this is how she turned out, y'all. And I was like, oh, this is some good hair, some good bundles. I don't want this three, four hundred dollar wig to go to waste. So you know what I did? I decided to finesse it. I tried to make it work, but look, it's too much lace. It shed a lot in the frontal, and I was like, I need to salvage this. And I cut the extra lace off, and then I got the bright idea to make a closure out of it instead of a frontal because it wasn't working. Look, looking raggedy, dusty, to the point where the wig didn't even fit my head anymore. And that, ladies and maybe gentlemen, that's how this video came about. So let's go ahead and get right into making this frontal wig into a closure wig. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead and get started. This is the wig, all dusty and crusty. I've already started wearing it as a closure wig. You can tell I'm already fed up with it, but I'm showing y'all up close. And to start off, this is how I decided where to cut the closure. I measured out how much lace I wanted and how much was actually there. And I went ahead and parted out the closure part of the frontal. So take your rat tail comb or whatever you have and go ahead and part on both sides evenly. So for this frontal, I made sure to part all the way to the back. There were two tracks in the back of this frontal, so I had to part right behind that to the fabric of the wig. I hope that makes sense. So I parted all the way past the two tracks that were connected to the frontal. The reason I cut behind those two tracks is so when I go to cut my closure, I cut all the way back through the frontal. Now that I've gotten that hair out the way, this is how much I'm cutting for my closure. And I'm going to go ahead and make my wig stationary. When you put pins in, make sure you put them before the cutting line so they're not in the way and that the rest of the wig is stationary while you cut the closure off. Also, you guys, something very important. Make sure the lines you're cutting is very crisp. If you have to put product on it or whatever the case, do that, but make sure the line has no hair in it or you'll be cutting some of the hair out of the lace. And we don't want that. We need as much of these hair strands as we can get. Now that we cut out our closure, we're going to go ahead and measure up the closure where we want it to be. The cap I'm using is just a regular wig cap. I don't suggest getting a regular wig cap. I suggest getting a dome cap. Those are much thicker and durable, and your wig will probably last a little bit longer. But this is all my beauty supply store I had, so this is what I went with. So when it comes to measuring where you want to put the closure, make sure you place it at least a half an inch past the wig cap. So when you you go to style it there's a none of the black cap peeking through and it also helps the wig look a little bit more natural once you figured out where you want your closure to be you can take t pins and put them in place at each corner a half an inch into the lace because you're going to be sewing that down as well and when you put your T-pins in, make sure the back of that closure is flat because you don't want your closure to be bulky once you start sewing it down. Now, don't be alarmed when you see the closure like bounce up a little bit back onto the cap because that's normal. This lace is stretchy, which is a good thing, so don't worry about that. The kind of needle and thread I'm using, I'm using a C-type weaving needle. You can get them in a pack at your local beauty supply store 
really affordable. The thread is just regular black thread. Now I'm just going to be sewing the sides of the closure down. I'm sewing the back and the two sides. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what that looks like. And I did end up sewing through the band. You guys don't have to do that. A lot of people say not to do that, but it didn't matter to me. So I went ahead and sewed through the band as well. Also, my wig cap is doubled. I do have two wig caps that I'm sewing through. If you get the dome cap instead, you will not have to double it. So just an FYI. Now you guys will make sure when you start to sew that everything is flat. You want a flat foundation. Now this is the rest of the wig. As you can see, this is what is left of the lace. And I'm going to use that lace to sew down on the side of the closure. So you see how I'm lining it up and I'm leaving an inch of space before the lining of the cap. Because when you start to sew, it's going to gather up anyway and make it even. But I just went ahead and pinned it down with the T-pin and started sewing that down as well. So I'm basically just repositioning the wig. So I made the closure and pushed it up a little bit. And now I'm placing the rest of that lace to the edge of the cap and I'm sewing it down. It's pretty much not that complicated because the wig is already constructed you're just repositioning everything and I know my sewing is a little bit jacked up but it's really hard to sew and film at the same time so it's gonna look a little ratchet but it's okay it got the job done So now I'm done with that side. Again, it's flat to the cap. And now I'm going to start at the top side of the lace on this side. Again, I left about an inch or half an inch in between the closure and the next part I'm sewing down because it's going together as I've stated. So I'm just doing the same thing I did as the side, sewing that down, leaving a little bit of space because once you start to lay the closure down, you don't want it to be so close to the closure where it's like humpy so or bumpy. So leave a little bit of space as you sew. And I don't know if I need to state this, but make sure you guys are reinforcing the corners of whatever you're sewing down because you don't want your wig to just fall apart. So if you have to go back over it and sew again, do that. Again, this is how much space I'm leaving in between the back part now, and I'm going to sew that down as well. I kind of slowed it down just to show you guys how I'm sewing it. Doesn't matter, still look jacked up, but this is how I'm doing the back side, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side after that.
Okay, now we have all of that sewn down. I realized that I didn't have enough hair on the side to sew around to the back. So I had an extra bundle of deep wave hair from way back in the day. So I decided to pin down the back of the wig and whatever space I had on the side, I went ahead and parted out what was already sewn down. And just like the frontal was, the two tracks that were sewn down, I'm going to do the same thing right here. So this part of the lace doesn't come up. I'm just going to go ahead and sew down the track at the end of this lace. And then after that, I'm going to go an inch apart and put more tracks just to fill up that space. I feel like I should have mentioned this beforehand, but if y'all wanted to, y'all could have just cut off the rest of the lace anyway and just put tracks along the side of the closure. But I decided to make use of everything that I had. And if you have old bundles, that's great. If you don't, you can take tracks from the back of the wig and move them to the front. But just like you guys, I like to make use of everything that costs money. Every strand on this wig feel like costs $100. So I'm going to use everything that I have because if you didn't know, I am the money saving queen, honey. Now look at this foundation y'all this is the first side i sewed down super flat you can see the lace that's okay you can color it in cover it with tracks i do have a little triangle space on both sides that is where my ear would be i am going to slit that space so it's on both sides i cut it just so you guys know this is the other side with the tracks super blended super flat and this is why i said to use a dome cap because look at that hole you guys but it's okay and I did sew down that space right there that before it gets to the back. Just in case you guys didn't notice, I did sew that other part of the triangle down. Now onto the back. If you guys have seen my how to sew down a wig video, then you know this is how I sew down the back of my wigs to my actual head as well. I parted right where the comb or the tag of the wig is and i'm going to sew that to the cap before i start sewing i'm going to move the wig comb outside of the wig so i don't sew it down so i'm just going to just flip it the opposite way and i'm going to start sewing above that area so it's the end of the cap but above the comb And that is pretty much it, you guys. So the only thing you have to do is cut out that cap along the side of the closure, making sure you're not cutting any of the thread. And this is what it'll look like. If you have a, a smaller head, you can leave that extra cap inside because it'll be a little bit more snug. If not, you can go in and cut out the inner part of the cap and this is how to be it's basically a reconstructed frontal unit into a closure you just won't see the ear to ear part of the lace the only lace you'll be able to see is where you parted the closure this is how the wig turned out right after i finished i put it on to show you guys it turned out really good. I was super surprised and excited that I get to keep wearing this wig. Again, the side where the lace was sewn down, you can color that in with some black or colored pencil. Okay, you guys, so I really turned this wig into a closure. This frontal into a closure, like, are you joking? <laughs> I'm about to put her on and show y'all what she looks like on as a closure, yay! 
And that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you tried this out and if you have any suggestions, definitely comment down below in the comment section. I love you guys and see you in the next video. Bye.